Hello and good day everyone. My name is Sebastian and I'm the Novice Prospect. And what are we playing today? I mean, if you're looking at the Twitch stream, you know it already, sort of. And if you see this, you, you know more so what we're playing. Because this, this intro has been with that game for a while. It is indeed in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And so the, the reason for that is my wife actually told me about an hour ago, oh, by the way, you can go onto Ubisoft Connect and just download it for free. So uh, that's, that's, that's what we did. <laughs> and yeah, let's, you know, just get started. Yeah, I'm blaming my wife for this one. <laughs> so... Hello, Initiate. Hello. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Beck. <laughs> picture. I forgot my light. Now we know Sean, by the way, from... I think it's Black Flag, actually. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. <laughs> I suppose he's down to muggins here. Find out. Uh, good old Sean. On, the mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Okay. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control. No industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you time and time again, whosoever controls London controls the world. Okay, so that was, you know, our little intro. But, you know, as, as in good old Ubisoft fashion, this is it's not quite it. <laughs> There's more. So 
So we're in Croydon. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. <laughs> Think you both can handle it? What a question. All oh, right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every book covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George, with the train to catch. <laughs> Jacob! Evie! May the creed guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. Years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. That's good advice. Well, here we are. We are playing as Jacob just now. No, uh, up. Well, that was my fault. Pushing the wrong button at the wrong time. Well, actually, the right button, but wrong time. Right. 
Okay. They're just victims of opportunity, I call them, right? That's just what's happening there. Us. Oh, and we can loot as well. <clears throat> Good to know. And let's loot all the, uh, the, the shinies, right? We know how this works with me. I need to have all the shinies. And I never got to loot him, so let's do that. Okay, now what? Reach there. What? What am I? What? What is? Uh, no spoilers, by the way, please, because well, I have only played a little bit into this game a few years back, so I don't know what's happening and what's gonna happen and all that. Uh, yeah, sneaking, and then aiming and throwing a knife. Okay, so we could do something like this. Apparently there is... Nope. No, they're all innocents. So let's maybe not mess with them, right? And let's up. Okay, he's he's over there somewhere. That's where we're supposed to go. Ooh. I'll I'll do me. Yeah, I can't. I, I, I just tried there and, and you can't. Apparently that's not a thing in this game, unfortunately. I, I, I actually tried. I mean, it's, it's my usual. Okay, well, I see where you want me to go, let me... Come over a bit. No, that's not... Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, that's not the way to go. And no one's batting an eyelid at me just sneaking around there. <laughs> yeah, I know they will be very, very happy. It's a shame, actually. And you could do that even in the very first Assassin's Creed. But, oh well. Mr. Ferris, sir. The, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. Yeah, Victorian London was, or England in general, was apparently quite brutal. I, I hear this a lot. Shall we arrive at a final price, Mr. Ferris? 
Okay, so what now? Oh, try and be sneaky and we have to just assassinate him, okay? I wonder if I can do Is that a thing? Yes. Oh. You you're always jumping a little bit too far, Jacob. I don't quite like that. I was hoping for a sneaky entrance here somewhere. But nope. Gonna have to go through the main door. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> okay, he's apparently... Ooh, I wonder. This, this seems too perfect, right? So we're just gonna go along here. Uh-huh. And there's an entry point up there. Perfect. And that's it. Oh, that was easy enough. It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years, and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon? You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. You're using an actual, an actual cloth instead of a feather there. It used to be normally they just used a feather on, on the blood as proof. But apparently, you know, progress has even reached London. <laughs> what now? Uh, escape. No, no, no. Just run. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Anything else? Should be fine now. Ah, more of them, of course. <laughs> they even done an American translation there <laughs> to lost your bottle. <laughs> oh, look, it's me on D Red Valley. No. 
No, thank you. Oh, we seem to have made an unscheduled stop. Uh, yeah, you don't say. Uh, uh, down. Yeah. I, I know. I know. Rather him than me. I, I don't even want to be here. Burning train and all that, you know. Um. <laughs> this reminds me of Tomb Raider. I will say that. I think now we're actually playing as Eevee. If I remember this correctly. And obviously we were seeing Eevee, so I'm not sure. We'll see. I think so. I will say though, out of the Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed games before, like Origins, or Odyssey, and Valhalla and Mirage, I haven't seen Mirage yet, but um, this is actually one of the bad ones. Like before Black Flag came around, I really enjoyed this back in the days. I rem remember that actually. Okay, so here we go. Um, Who's there? Time to deploy the diversion. to loot. <clears throat> well, we'll just keep going. Hello, boys. Oh, might as well. Oh yeah, I do. Like for me, she was sort of the first female protagonist that wasn't Tomb Raider. That wasn't, you know, Lara Croft and just because of her big assets, so to speak. Like, Evie was for me actually the first time where I was like, ooh, look at that. You know, just normal woman doing hero -y things. Hey. I like that she's also got that sort of stick to use. I don't know. There's something about her style as well I, I just like. Yeah, no, Evie, I, I, I do agree. Like, Evie is a proper female hero. For me, anyways. Like. Follow me down the 
tracks. You stay here. Keep a lookout. All right. I'll shout if I get any bother. Okay. Can't be too careful. Uh, wow. Okay. A lot of them. Will that work for me? I think so. I know there's another guy here, but I don't want to draw attention here. Oh, hello. to the order. Miss Thorne, you ride me like a racehorse. Sir David, I will return tomorrow. If you have not unlocked the device's secrets, forget your dogs and horses. I will leave you to the wolves. Good day. I was merely promised to talk the premises, my lords. Who sent you? It's one of green spies. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the lab. Okay. <clears throat> what a pity. But no deviations from the mission. Um. Mm -hmm. Yes, the usual. So we have, you know, Eagle Vision highlighting objects for us, which is quite cool. And, you know, dangerous people. And there comes Bonnie's favorite part. <laughs> uh, with hanging barrels, I didn't see any. <laughs> I know, I know, but I had to say it, you know. You know what I'm like. Okay, hanging barrels, that was two of them. Can't see any more at the moment. I've only got one life left, so that's a bit of a interesting proposition. Hmm. I'll take my time here, I wanna make sure I've got a fairly quiet approach here. Okay, I see more hanging barrels. And there's three even. Ah, oh, shoot. Apparently everyone saw that. Grief, she is quite brutal. I like it, but...
Oh, I'm getting me all the loots. Uh, okay. And then two more here. And at least we got one. Okay, we've got another knife. If I can just find another set of bottles somewhere, that'd be awesome. Oh. Nip the underneath, so useless. Uh, okay. Let's find an entry point. I'm all fine. Where is Brewster's laboratory? All reconnaissance pointed straight in. Uh, yeah, I think I want to. Yeah, I thought so. Come on. Literally talked him right there. Um. There we go. <clears throat> fix when what do you know you rescue me where's the hidden laboratory untie me and then we can parlay my lady i'm pressed for time tell me now i like her <laughs> it's underground it requires a key one of the guards nick mine cheeky sod thank you uh now untie me you got yourself in i trust you can get yourself out again not to worry, my lady. Can still recall a couple of tricks from me carnival days. Charming. He is good. <laughs> okay, um... That's the guy, I'm assuming. Guy, maybe you. Oh, oh, you're an, you're an innocent. Whoops. You're not. throwing knife and then I think I'm gonna just go back up and try and get the guy uh, is it through here oh. Ooh, I'll take it ah
too far away, really. You know, where, where, where does the... Uh, ah, here. <laughs> okay, this should be fine. Stay hidden. Okay. Okay, let's let's get up there. <clears throat> no, I want higher up. So is there an entry point over there? I would like that one. Alright, okay. That's the thing. Um, no. Nice, and I have to loot him apparently because he may have hold that key, I think. I know, barrels of laughter, sorry, I never even seen that. Um, oh, that would help if, if you actually looked at the things. Um, so we've got the key. Table. Uh, I remember those very well. Uh, get down now. Wait. You see, this is the entrance point. Is it just like this then? I don't know what I'm looking for here at the moment, so...
I don't see anything sort of sticking out. Okay. That's just a hiding spot. As in, yeah, you can just hide there. There we go. <laughs> I'll say this like for eight years down the line, this game still looks really, really good. You wouldn't believe it's been that long. But yep. It's actually released uh, November 2015 for the PC release, and it was October actually for the consoles. So. Back on track. Ooh, skill points. Woohoo. Okay. Um, so that's EV skills, and I imagine these are skills I already have. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is stuff I already have, and apparently the only thing I can unlock is double assassination. Well, I'll take it. And, okay, so that's unlocked a whole bunch of other options. Loot takedown. Yes. I like that. Saves me that extra having to hold the B button all the time. Right. And... <laughs> Killing every living thing that's not civilian. Ah. Okay, what next? Um Anything of interest here? No. That's it, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, Gordon asked the Ebays and Amazons and 
All, all of them. Go and, go and, go and look. We're just go and look for Evie Fry's outfit. Failing that, you could always do cosplay, right? Do your own. <laughs> um, and we have to air assassinate Sir Brewster. Okay. I don't know if I can, but we'll try. No, no, don't carry him. Just, just put him down. Where is he? Oh my goodness. Got a way to still go to get there. Okay, he's a civilian. Assassinate you. You're, you're funny, like. You have to be careful. Apparently, electricity hurts. Where is he? Come on, come on, come on. You're like literally right there. There we go. down your head sir david brewster but i have so much more to discover do not be afraid i'm not god will protect me i will continue your experiment you will not stop staric miss thorne has already found another piece of eden more powerful than the last i will take that one too will we fight to gain what we cannot take with us in our nature. Yes, he's not wrong there. Yeah, I think we need to move. You can move this way or you can move that way, but you've got to move. Oh shit, going the wrong way. Okay, we need to seriously hurry up. Oh, come on. Oh, we can swim. We can swim actually in this game, that's good. She's a brave woman, I'll give you that. I don't think I'd be quite as cool as this. <laughs> Wait, is this not a climbable? Oh, yes. Yeah, Okay. And we got both uh, bonuses. Woohoo! Um, continue. Was there a 
explosion. What explosion? Navy. <laughs> the piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. <laughs> I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Some plan, yes. There was a slight indication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all a successful mission in spite of you two. <laughs> what about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. <laughs> yeah. They are far too strong yet. Very much so. I love that dynamic between the two though. So David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Oh, the gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. Yeah, the usual. <laughs> so what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father, you could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jake Fry, you might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. <laughs> okay, so the Fry twins are taking over London. <laughs> and in good old Ubisoft fashion, we are now at the intro. We're, we're one hour in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the usual then. <coughs> oh, that is, that is, uh, sorry, it gets me every time. You've only had a taste of our latest acquisition from Abstergo, but I want to check in on Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Dr. Grammatica. Come on. Who is Appel? What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! <laughs> All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. Okay. And we're obviously back to Jacob. Come on. I know, no pressure at all. <laughs> Perfect. I think. Are we loading? Are, are, are you doing the thing? I mean, to be fair, I had to run this off a hard drive because I didn't have enough space on my SSD <laughs> to put another big Ubisoft title on. I've never seen so many people all at once. The churning seas of London. It's 
the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Is Mr. Green again? Assassin watching over London? Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? Oi, watch it. Big pun, sir. Check your pockets. Oi! Come back here, you filthy Templar! Where the heck did he go? <gasps> Jacob, there is no way you can catch up with this kid. Find your little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. <laughs> does London have to offer? Yeah, indeed. What else? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. <clears throat> Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race you to the highest vantage point. You're going to lose it. Not on my watch. <sighs> Marked on father's map. Two assassins, equal in height, one female, one male, two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry twins. And you Guilty. Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Stark? I suppose the Sorry. News. London must be free to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, mm, no, they didn't. Bad news. Today, Staric sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders and a one. Let me get the bike out the way and see how that works. Rally them to our side. Oh, I like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You were never good at chess either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? I suppose. Oh, my goodness. Up and along and go on. Look at what Staric has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets. And Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people. Who built it in the first place? We will free London from Staric. You have my word. And my looks. 
<laughs> Your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop and I can bring you up to date on the rest. Okay, uh, I suppose we we do the favourite bit of money, right? <laughs> hey, at least I didn't sit there and say, "Go look, 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 look," right? At least I didn't do that yet. Keep quiet. Kalok's looking for me. Who's Kalok? One of Starik's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The piece of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Staric gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. <laughs> oh, we can finally run. Thank you. I think that's Charles Dickens. Bloody drood. I'll never finish it at this rate. Only Providence knows where those words are headed now. Well, I must get to work replacing them. Should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two, you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot. Yes. <laughs> man, that Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens. Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. Ah, oh, shit. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. Okay. Keep moving. We need to lead them away from green. Here comes trouble. Turn to Mr. Green. Aye, aye, Captain. You're relentless. That rel relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the creed would perish under your Oh. <laughs> Don't tell me you fancy Oh, dead horse on the street. I think that was us, by the way. Hey, Woody. I say we turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you aren't in charge. <laughs> Causing absolute mayhem here. I think this carriage has had it, <laughs> if you look at the wheels. Yeah, make space here. Eh. Now you take it easy now, Woody. I appreciate you to dropping in. It's well appreciated, you know that. But you just take it easy now. We're all really worried about you. We take over Starek's gangs. We cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the rooks. You are not starting a gang called the rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. I, I think we're going to start a gang called the Rooks. My ally in the force, Silas Abilene. 
I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starrick never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock. Known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. All right, sweet. Good. Good to know. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. But be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. Yeah, Woody, I got uh, Syndicate for free today, by the way. So it's uh, free to pick up on the Ubisoft Connect. Uh, so if you have that on your PC, just go to your store, look for Syndicate, and say, get it. You know, download or whatever. Um, you, you claim it, and that's, it's, it's yours. As far as I know, it's not, it's not like a time-limited type, type thing. It's just your game. Right, so basically we now are looking at London... And we are freeing different districts or boroughs, as they are called in the UK. I may have butchered that word, uh, but you know it's it is what it is. And so we're we're starting up in in the north in Whitechapel. We've got City of London. We've got the Thames. Didn't know that that was a borough, but you know there's this this apparently at least two discovery points there, three actually. Um, then we've got Southwark, uh, Lambeth. Westminster and the Strand, right? That's, that's sort of the, the, the areas that we have um, to deal with. Now, we are in Whitechapel and we have a Templar here. We have um, a quest to go to and another quest. So, well, m many quests. I think we're going to start with that one. Spital fields, or spital fields. Skill point. Uh, associates, worldview, borrows. No, that's not what I'm needing. I am needing something else. How does one. Ah, skills. I have four. So let's mark all these first, you know, as, as red and all that. Um, <clears throat> more common crafting resources. Eagle Vision 2. Now allows you to see through walls to. Watch and tag enemies. Ooh, yes, that's a definite yes. Um, and then what else we got? Uh, loot takedown. I thought I had that, or maybe not. Maybe that was Evie. I don't. I don't know how this works, but I, I think maybe they have actually in, uh, individual skill um, levels. So what else have we got here? Slayer. An exit attack automatically puts the target in a near death state. That's cool. Increase the time before you lose your combo streak due to inaction or increase your health. You know what? We're going to go with the combo thing, or Slayer 1, and then we're going to get a bit more health. Hey, level 2. Okay, so you level up by spending skill points. That's an interesting approach, but you know, it's, it's what they do. So, yes, this is the skill I want. Now I wonder, can we... We can't even go to Eevee. Can we? Nah. Okay, fine. Uh, inventory. We pawns. We pawns. Um, so we could upgrade those. What is these? Oh, that's... Okay, we must be crafted. Okay. Um... These are all craftable items. Let me see what is... Alright, level 10 and conquer the borough of Westminster. Fine. Um, I mean, these are quite expensive. I don't see where my money is. Oh, uh, up there. 5,000. Or upgrade them. I mean, this... Upgrade preview gives you one plus one each. So I feel like I can just do that on the cheap, right? For now. Uh, yes, upgrade that. 
<clears throat> okay. And she does not wait, huh? Well, we'll upgrade it as well. Upgrade um because that's Evie's weapon, right? So well we'll do it. But we are equipped with those. Okay. Uh gauntlets. They are equipped. Okay, fine. Uh, and I don't think... Oh, they cannot be upgraded. Uh, might, might do that. Get a bit more damage output on all that, right? So what else? Firearms, we'll leave that alone. Belts, well, what do we have there? Um, ooh, wow. Um, specialization, specialization defense. Join the family. Common leather belt, no harm. All right, okay, it gives you actually extra stats, so that's fine. Plus two, plus two would be cool, but nope, I'm a little bit out of range. So I think I'm going to go with this one, okay? Um, <clears throat> upgrade preview and give it one of those dealios. And, oh, we have outfits we could wear. <laughs> uh, or Barclay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and what would be? Oh, brass knuckle damage. Okay, cool. And we could have different colors. Um, I don't know what teal means, but I like. Well, that's no color. Teal, violet, and mustard yellow. Well, why not? Eh. And we are good. We we are upgraded. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. The fights, even the outfits you'll wear. Perhaps you should lead the way. If you insist. Um all right, you can just switch. Oh gosh darn it. I could have just done this. And okay, fine. Skills, we have three points available for her, which is, I think I'm gonna go with, what was it? Eagle Vision 2 again. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna do the, was it Slayer for the damage output. Thank you. Come on. And then let me use this uh, lock picks. Yeah, that seems good to me. And quickly check this should be upgraded already, right? Which is cool. Um, those are the gauntlets that we wear, right? Um, current firearm. Ooh, capes. Ooh. There's so many. Uh, okay, it's expensive, but what about this one? Gives us extra everything. So we'll equip it, and I shall upgrade the item. Might as well. Um, nope. What else? Uh, that's obviously outfits. Okay. All right. And there's colors we could use. I think I'm gonna go with that same look. Right, might as well. And what, what? All oh, right, there's unread stuff. Good, we'll do it like so. Good, okay, next. We are now, there's a mission somewhere. Let's, let's go to that mission and see what we can do. And as a matter of fact, we should probably start off with, where is it? Is there only one here? Possibly. I was looking for, you know, one of those things where you, you, you throw yourself down, a uh, synchronization point.
Oh, right, okay. I'm confused. It's in this building, obviously, but... Really busy here. Ow. I think I just got stabbed in the head. Ow. So, yeah, I'm going to change the plans here. I'm going to go in with Jacob. <clears throat> I know, I know. But then again, she's not really meant for these sort of confrontations. It says very clearly actually in the descriptions that Jacob's more the offensive one, whereas Evie is more the stealthy one. But if I have to kill 10 folk, then it would probably be helpful to be able to actually do that killing. There's apparently still one guy left. Oh, where is he? I'll do it. Nice. Hey. And that's how we gain loyalty, basically. Okay, and then basically we're going to move on. And... Level 3, level 3, that's actually a sequence. So we're going to go after Harold Drake first. I think that's a good, good thing to do. 
Where is... You seem to want my employer's attention, Mr. Fry. Oh, I positively crave it. But you'll do for now. As you like. And he just disappears. Conquer Whitechapel. Rook, to me. Uh, I am sorry to say I am stealing this. Oops. Oh, I didn't know where the crate of dynamite. Whoops. Okay. And then there'll be another one. Um, well, let's run there first. I don't know who let me near a horse-drawn carriage, but apparently that's what I'm doing. Whoa! Oh, there's even someone stood in the back of this. <laughs>
What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here, we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara, <laughs> Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor to... <clears throat> there are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to say them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence. Something you clearly need. <laughs> <laughs> what are these terms? We accept. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> uh, she's a cocky little so-and-so, isn't she? Um, fine. But I'm going to take a quick break, just because of nature and all that, right? Um, but I will be back in two minutes or so. Yes. And I'm back. And so reach the warehouse, right? Well, we, we can do that. <clears throat> and I feel very strongly about this, so I will actually stay on Jacob. You were saying? But yeah, I, I feel very strongly about these factories, so we will go in there. Guns blazing, well, I should say fists blazing, and we'll kill them all. I don't care about no alarm. Just die. I am that, but anybody else down here? Okay, sabotage that. That's that's probably helpful, right? Let's see ya. Ooh. 
Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> Did the game just crash out or not? I don't know what happened there. No, it didn't. It, it just, for some reason, went to desktop. Hey Buckley, good seeing you. And up there, okay, we'll free more children. I think what I'm gonna try and do is come up here. Yes, indeed. I think I can just freeze. Look sharp. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I I, I do too, actually. <clears throat> I, I don't know. Syndicate is for me one of the better ones before, you know, the Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla, and all them. Um, but before Black Flag even came around, this was, to me, like one of the best ones out there. And now we are going after the gang leader. And I know I, I could be recruiting folk, but right now I want to just steal a carriage. Nah, I don't want to, mate. Uh, apparently, we're just walking it. I think a lot of why UK uh, folk in general enjoyed this game is because they've really got the the feel of London very well done, I feel. Like, Victorian London feels very authentic to me. I mean, I can't say for sure, because obviously I didn't live in those times, but from what we know, I feel like they've got that really quite correct, quite quite right. <laughs> I've too had it up to here with you. <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed. Uh, okay, let's go. I don't see Mr. Abelai. Well, we tried. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. Mm. What's this? Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? At your service. <laughs> I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. <laughs> you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. Very hairy, strange old lady who looks a lot like a policeman. <laughs> uh, there's multiple elements to me why I like why I like this game. Um, I, th I think a big part of that is Evie. You know, having a female protagonist alongside. Whatever you do, try to remain within the bounds of the law, for my sake. Okay, okay, but we will do this as Evie. See ya. Okay, when undetected behind an enemy, press B to kidnap them. Move slowly near enemies to shrink your detection radius, moving faster 
with RT will make it easier for enemies to detect you. Press B to shove a kidnapped captive into an enclosed carriage. Oh, okay. Who is it at? Okay. I have to get behind him. Okay, first of all, let's, you know, do, do the thing. people of every last penny and we'll talk. Kaylock, we hear of this terrible mistake you've made. You won't have the chance to scream save me, let alone pay Kaylock a visit. Quiet and I won't hurt you. Oh, I went in the wrong direction. Gosh darn it. I know. Does anyone love them? Do they love anyone? Let's go for a stroll. So I'm just trying to concentrate and getting this right, yeah. What? No, 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 get, get, <laughs> shit. Can't believe I've done that. <laughs> People in the way. Nice. And that should be White Chapel unlocked. Ooh, a gang war available. Ooh. Is this gangs of London or what? Um, might as well. However... Yeah, we're going to go with him. Now, please, someone... Um, no, that's not... There's no horse in front of that, so it's not useful to me. I need a carriage. I don't want to walk all that. Someone, please? How do you even turn this big... You guys may want to move um, a lot. About every civilian that came in my way. I'm sure I'm a terror on London already. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this whole ramming and horse carriage thing. <laughs>
I think the Polish is angry with me, so let's get rid of them. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Oh my goodness, where the heck did you come from? Really? Oh. <laughs> Through the house. Well, there we go. Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome back, Lonnie. Take it they're still working on the heating at your mum's house. I know, look at the state of the carriage, right? And I I can't drive carriages for shit. It is what it is. Civilian controlling the borough. Kalok has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss. Yeah. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my goodness. So is that gonna be today then or <sighs> so I guess something in that is And so gearing up, reaching higher level allows you to equip better weapons, accessories, and outfits. And we figured that part already out, and gear can be upgraded. Right, cool. Um, we have something new. This obviously doesn't have... Really isn't the time now. Right, okay. <laughs> so I'll just have to wait and see what the yeah outcome's got to be. <laughs> um... I know, I know. Not looking forward to it. I mean, our heating is okay. We, we, we've got fresh windows in, so we're, we're fine there. Um, so I think that's a 222. Two, two. I think that's what that reads. But much more lethality. So equip it, and then upgrade. And yeah, I'll do that. I'm quite happy with that. Okay. Um... They, they can't even leave it for today. Realistically, they have to fix this today. Good grief, it's, it's, it's heating. It's the middle of winter. At the very least, they have to provide you the means to uh, run an electric heater. Right, everyone dead already? Yeah, it's not just the heater, but you, they need to give you the lucky for it. <clears throat> That's the thing. It's, it's not just having the fucking heaters. Oh, crikey. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. Because that is... They are specific to the boiler. Oh. Missed that. Hey. Goodbye. Next. Oh. I 
Ow. Okay, that was my fault. Oh yeah, it is much better. It is much better with the electric ones, but they're still 2,000 watts running through. Right, you leave that running for half an hour, well, you know, you've already burned a, a, a thousand watts right there because it's, it's I think, what hours that they measure it in by night. So it's not, you know, just having the, 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 the actual heaters. It's having the lucky for it. Because you can easily burn literally through your whole week's worth of, uh, uh, your week's worth of supply of electricity that you put in. Uh, you stick one of these things on within half a day, you're, you're gone. You're, you've got any lucky left. Okay, so... Whoopsie doopsie. Ah, oh, shoot. Every time I do that. Go on, run. Take him down. Oh. All right. That's where the hot water. Oh, I know what's happening. Their thermostat is basically gave out, and that's independent from the water supply. It appears to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. What do you mean we have a train now? Are, are you planning on keeping this train? You know, I think we're keeping this train. Now that guy coming out tomorrow, it's, that's ridiculous. Uh, not entirely happy we're having Brandon stay overnight then. Oh, on his own there. And we'll talk later. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> uh, uh, I like Jacob. <laughs> oh. Daylock? He's left the station. hello, fancy pants. I mean, I like her. I love it already. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. Hello, Agnes. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I always bail your heat. <laughs> Pay better than scraps. Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. Then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails. What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Uh, the game is bug. I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. 
Like there, there, there was a guy there. I that's normally. Know someone who can help with that. <laughs> He's fucking invisible. <laughs> Gotta love Ubisoft games, right? Eight years later, and they still have bugs like this. I mean, what the? F Just this is fine. <laughs> uh, so new game. Sorry, let's let's start maybe there. Let's let's you know Evie. Oh, we can't. Okay, fine, 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 fine. We 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 talk to you know, a of money goes Agnes. A bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the first you bring. Uh, collect income. You talk or a store in London. Well, now's your chance. That being map shows who to speak to. Oh, friends, if you will. Give me one that sterling, and maybe you can save us all from having to lay down our knife and fork before we're ready. Oh, she's as Scottish as they come. And we've got a map here. Uh, okay, what, what, what is a, a medicine market? And I acquire. Yeah. So it's a bit like Assassin's Creed 2, where you, you upgrade your, you know, your, your, your village or your city. But this is obviously slightly different. Um... Growler, whatever a growler is. I growl, but I don't think that's what they mean. Um, rook training. Ooh, okay. So they automatically are level 5. That's quite cool. Um, what else? Black market affiliation and pub investor. Well, we need more resources for that. Cool. Yes. <clears throat> oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Green bumped up. Come on. Okay. Freedom of the press. Um. Now what? Ooh. Got new things. The the train is driving away without me, and I don't know if I'd like that. Uh. It just I'm coming with Ah good grief. Thank you. Oh, we're gears and weapons. Uh gauntlets. Ooh. Yeah, might as well. We'll we'll get them. And upgrade is plus one for five hundred. Yeah, let's do that. Might as well. I like that. And what else? Firearms. Yeah. There's a derringer. Barely use it anyway. So what is here? We have these outfits that I'm not going to put on because it'll give uh, Buckley a connection, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, running around as Edward. Or maybe even as Ezio. His, his favorite. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that will go well. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um... <laughs> Don't worry, I can't afford to anyways at the moment. We'll 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 talk again next episode on Thursday. No, Souvenirs. The ah, they're all secret. Fine. Um I, I feel like I am a little bit confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I don't quite understand how this train thing works. I mean, yes, I know that the train is, is driving right now, even though Agnes isn't even at the front.
Oh, Agnes doesn't actually drive. She hired someone for that. Okay, fine. Where are we now? You know what? I'm, we're gonna just jump off. Ah! Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Okay, we 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 jump off a running train. And something to kill. Okay. Um. And typical London ads rain and like cats and dogs, of course. I want to see that kill target. Get to it and then kill it. Oops. <laughs> Slow down. Okay. Where are we? What are we doing? something but it's it looks like it's in the water uh no i did not <laughs> um uh, maybe maybe here maybe 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 there I, I don't know we'll see um i need to save that and hopefully, because I like to be in the way, apparently. Well, someone else deal with that. I'm not caring. I apologize. <clears throat> You know, you could have told me sooner. <laughs> uh, I could have fixed it sooner. <coughs> Are you wanting me to kill something underwater? I don't understand what is what is going on here. Huh? It's... I don't understand. Alright, no. I don't know nothing unless someone tells me. Tells me. Um, I don't think you can dive here, so... Maybe on this boat? I don't know. We'll see what happens, right? We'll walk up here. There's a tunnel under the bridge, you see. Uh, that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, I think this is train connection. I think this is the actual bridge. I don't know. I are very confused. Um, no, 
that's not what I wanted. I wanted to come over there and... <sighs> I, I don't know what I'm doing. As usual, right? You should be careful with that. Hey! Oh, I felt that. Okay, I'm dead again. Yep. That's the usual. But I'm, I'm still clueless as to what I'm actually supposed to do now. So, mm -hmm. uh, let's look at the map once we're actually loaded up. That is oh, hello, thank, thank you. Uh, this I don't understand. I like, guess this is really far away, anyways, and I don't even know where my train is now. So. I've lost my train already, you know, this, that's just what it is, cool. And apparently I'm about 600 meters away and I will just, thank you. We'll just use our um, newly acquired horse carriage, right? Yeah, well, that's... What, I've been, what I'm trying to do, but then there was this weird kill thing really stuck on my map. I just think it still wants me to do that, but... Hey, Tokyo Drift. I mean, London Drift, right? <laughs> Want a distraction. <laughs> Uh, there's even an achievement for that. Awesome. Or something, anyways. <laughs> oh, apparently I'm there. <laughs> yeah, I'm fun in GTA, actually. Yeah, of course. Four stars, five stars, all of it. Right, including them uh, up until the military involvement. And that's when you know you're in trouble. Yeah. I think we can afford to spend a little time here. That's literally tanks and jets. Okay, so I imagine we will be getting involved in this. A clean fight. You expect me to fight clean. I don't think that's going to happen.
Yeah. Eventually. All comes down to money. <laughs> ah, keep fighting. We can we can do another round. Alright, anyone else? Yeah, I know. I mean, the prices are sort of heading that way, really. If you look at new releases, ah, we'll do another round. This is going to probably get a little bit more involved, but we'll see. Ow. I was meaning to dodge that, but... Ow. And the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And we'll do one more, right? And that basically gives us a maximum amount of money. Oh. Ow. Nice double. Ooh. <laughs> it reminds me of a scene in Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downing Jr. actually. <laughs> Champion! Come join our underground uh, no, once is enough, thank you. Okay, so now we know what the T is. Yeah, I, I really loved that uh, whole take of his. Very, of course, you know, he's a method actor in the shows. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's actually one of the best uh, sort of modern interpretations of that. And freedom of the press, okay. And, I mean, to be fair, you know, Martin Freeman really bounced really well off of that. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break, by the way. Um, just my fingers are getting a little bit, you know, sear. So I'm going to give him a stretch and, and all that good stuff. Take a break. That good stuff. I'll see you in two to five minutes, something like that. Thank you.
and I am back, I believe. Yep, 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 yep. Good, good, good. And now we're going to be just a thousand meters away. A whole kilometer. I am not running a kilometer. Thank you. Please. You are very convenient. I am. Hey. Give me that. <laughs> Whoever learned to drive in Germany, of course. Ooh. I think she did. <laughs> Couldn't do that again if I tried. Wonder is the guy still in there? No. <laughs> well, now they're orphans, right? That's what London really specialized in in this time in these times, so I'm I'm just adding to it. I'm just helping out. It's it's a <laughs> it's a helping act. Oh wait, um... Yeah, something like that. Well, you know, we've got to replace the people that we're killing. That's, that's the way I see it. We've got to keep that livestock up, right? <laughs> uh. Yes, livestock. Yes, really, livestock. <laughs> oh wait, do, do, do humans not like to be referred to as livestock? I, I, I think I heard tell about something like that. I, I am just cattle. <laughs> Not usually, no. Okay, okay. Okay, fine. See, this is how you do that. You just get rid of the person. And then... How far are we away? 400 meters? I, I need a new... Your, your thing is quite convenient. Thank you! What's going on is that I am taking your carriage. Is that not obvious? Oh, child liberation. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna free some children. I, I, I cannot. Wait, we done? I need to take that alarm bell out right now. Okay, him too. Jeez. No. Ooh. Right through the heart. Okay, um. Next time. Battles. Battles would have been a, another way to do it, yes. Oops. Yeah, um, just just a few. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even look. Hey, I'm playing Jacob. I don't play Evie at the moment. That's, that's sort of, you know, Jacob just runs in. These guys are quite resilient at level 4, that's kind of thing, okay.
Come on, sabotage. No. Yeah, not not like that. And yeah, I know about the battles. I I didn't even look. Okay, let's one more time. This time with feeling, maybe. <clears throat> Come on. And when I say with feeling, I mean click and click. We'll, we'll, we'll try. <clears throat> Stealth. I never heard of that. What, what, what is this? Uh, oh, I see you up there. Okay, so maybe we can now be sneaky. Yeah. Oh, for the love of... Well, at least I'm getting help. No. I really, really suck at this. That much is obvious. Um, <clears throat> had a good start going too. I am determined though, that's my problem. <laughs> uh, yeah. They apparently did help me anyway, so I'm not quite... She's a bit weird, that one. I don't know what that means. It's fine. be sneaky? Can we do actual sneaky things? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, there's... Oh, hello. Uh, he's definitely searching. Oh, I wonder. Can we not just maybe go higher up? Hmm. 
we, 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 come on, just give me an assassinate on him. Okay. Now we've got him. Yeah. Um. Because that's not gonna be enough. I've only got one knife, so let's try it from the other side. Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay. Oh, hello. This is not ending well. Nah, I don't even have enough medicine now. This is fine. Not. Yeah, not really. Skill upgrade requested. Well, uh, um, I don't think I have enough skills, but we can try. What what do I have? Stealth. Okay. Ooh. Yes, give me. Better stealth, good. Now I have one point left. Um, and only need to spend one more. Okay. Try this. Oh, that's two points. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you know what? We'll go and do the scavenger thing. <clears throat> okay, We're level three. Maybe it's a little bit easier now. <clears throat> Who knows? Let's also check our equipment. Ooh. Uh. Hmm. We'll upgrade it once. Get more damage out there. And yeah, that's the gauntlets I want to carry. And what's this? Uh, less stealth's not good. I want more stealth, not less. Uh, okay, what else uh, does different outfits? And colors. Okay, cool. Maybe, maybe now. I don't know. Let me see. <clears throat> okay, one guy there. You're tired? No. Of course, they've all recognized me, right? <sighs> this is fun in games. Ah. Ooh, some believe that Excalibur was in fact a sort of Eden. Ooh. So that would make it another piece of the... of, yeah. That whole thing. <clears throat> Gear upgrade suggested. I mean, literally. I have literally just done that. So let me try one more time with feeling... 
And there's the alarm. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it for today because I'm not getting anywhere. Right, I'm, I'm literally not getting anywhere and my brain's just not playing ball anymore. Which is a shame. I was actually enjoying the ride so far. Well, we'll go come back to this on Thursday because, you know, sneaky tea and all that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back um, back at it with fresh energy on Thursday. I think that's the best thing to do here. And, you know, just not stress myself out. Because, no the point. I uh, want to say thank you to everyone that's joined me today. And, uh, you know, Buckley, Vonnie, Woody, you guys are awesome for coming and, yeah, just join us in the insanity, right? Uh, again, I've, I've completely buggered that camera but we will i will fix all that later anyways until next time look out for each other and yourselves and peace out <laughs> bye and bless you <laughs>